Dr. McKinnon here. Um, <coughs> so, excuse me. Last time we um, were clipping or extracting our raster into our smaller watershed. So we could do some other things, run some other tools with it, which you can't do if you have a very large uh, DEM covering the entire state. So, um, so here's our little watershed. Um, here's the DEM for it. Um, you can see where the little streams are flowing into the larger river. Um, so um, what I did was we're just interested in a few streams up in this area. And so I further um, cut the raster into a smaller section so that we would have just um, a smaller area to work with. Um, so, um, what we are going to run here is a tool called, um, hold on, we're going to go to analysis. We're going to go under tools and under the spatial analyst tools under hydrology is a tool called derive stream as line, which is super nice because it saves us several different steps. It runs a number of, um, what used to be separate tools. And at the end of it, what you get out is a polyline layer showing where the streams um, are likely flowing. So if you click here, our input raster, unfortunately, I apologize, is called extract, extract one. Um, you should probably name it something uh, more um, descriptive. Um, and then you can call your data set that you're creating stream flow or something like that. Oh, my computer is almost out of memory. Um, you don't need to change this. You shouldn't need to change the settings. At least I did not. Um, and then down here is where we run the tool. Now I'm not going to run the tool right the second during the video because it takes a few minutes for the, that tool to run, um, at least on my older computer. But um, click around that tool, wait for it to run, and what it should produce um, is a data set that looks like this, which is a line, right? One big line. So if you go under map and Go to selection and click and drag around part of this line. Um, you should get the entire line data set. Uh, okay, originally it was all one line. And then what I did was um, because we're going to need to make a profile of just one section of stream, right? Um, so I went into the edit tab in the editing toolbar and used the split tool and the explode tool to um, create some individual lines. Okay. So like here's a little stream um, that is flowing into the river. Um, especially what you want to do is make sure you split it kind of at the right spot because um, if you look here, so I'm going to turn off my raster. If you look at the topographic base map I have underneath, this is this flow of water is probably not 100% accurate down here because um, most likely what we have here is a street and then the river, and most likely there's a culvert right here, which is not visible on the DEM or uh, the raster data set. And so most likely the water doesn't flow down here and come back over here to the river. So we want to cut, cut that line right there. Um, so that's what I did. And now if you do a selection, you can see this little section of stream is its own feature. So the next tool I want to run, um, is a tool that is going to, um, apply 
the 3D element, um, the, the elevate, I shouldn't say the 3D element, the, the elevation data, apply that to this little line. And um, then that will allow us to create a graph that shows the elevation changes of this little line. So um, that's up next in our final video in this little series of videos. All right, thanks very much.